welcome to our first virtual session and for the English class. I hope you're safe and I hope you're staying at home. After reviewing your assignments from the previous weeks, I have noticed that uh, there are still some questions and some issues regarding the model purpose. So today's session will be about uh, this topic and I hope this video will help you understand it in an easy way. Okay, now before we start with the topic, I would uh, like to remind you about the model verbs. Remember that we have something, in English we have something called model verbs. These model verbs are uh, the following. These verbs are called model verbs because what they do is they modify the main verb in a sentence. So, some of them are used to express possibility, or to express probability, or certainty, or uh, uncertainty. So these are called model verbs. Now, what do we talk about when we talk about model perfects? When we talk about model perfects, we are talking about the past tense of these verbs. And in order for us to speak about the, the, past, the, the past tense of these verbs, we have to add something more to it, which is the word or the verb have. Every time we use uh, a model verb plus have plus a verb, in the past participle form we're using uh, this structure we're using the model purpose so in order for us to use this structure we need to add a subject a model verb have and a verb in past participle. For example, let's work on the next sentence. Notice that we are using a subject which is she. We are choosing our model perfect. We are using the verb have and we are using uh, the verb in past participle, which is helped. This, of course, is a regular verb, so we would just add the ed at the end of the verb. And this word right here is just a complement for the object of this sentence. So this sentence is saying that it was a bad call or a bad decision not to help her when he could. Let's see the model perfect uh, must have. We use the model perfect must have to express that we're certain that something, something happened in the past. Let's look at the example right here. If I say, I think they must have got lost, surely they'd be here by now. What I'm saying is that I'm certain or I'm sure that they got lost. This is what I'm saying. Now, let's talk about can't have. We use can't have to express that we're certain or that we know for sure that something wasn't possible. For example, we could say, you can't have finished that book already. You only started reading it an hour ago. What we're saying is that we can't believe or we are sure that he or that person didn't finish the book. We are certain that something wasn't possible. We use the model verb couldn't have, uh, the model perfect couldn't have, to express the same thing that can't have, just that we use couldn't have as a more formal way of expressing it. It's more formal than can't have, but we use it to express the same thing. 
We use could have, might have, and may have to express that something happened, but we are not sure that it did. For example, we could say that Grecia I could say that Grecia may have attended the concert, but I'm not sure. What I'm saying is that it's possible that Grecia attended the concert, but I'm not committing to this truthfulness of this sentence. And finally, we use should have or shouldn't have to express that uh, we made a mistake or we made a bad choice or a bad decision. I could say, you should have gone to Danny's party, it was fantastic. What I'm saying is that it was a bad decision not to go to Danny's party, because it was fabulous. So these are the, the model verbs and the structure that we need to follow in order for us to use it. Model perfects in a nutshell. Model perfects are the past tense of model verbs. They follow the, this structure. Subject, model verb, whichever we choose, have, it will always be have, nor, uh, and it will always be have, and the verb in past participle. If you have any questions whatsoever regarding this topic, you can um, join our discuss discussion session tomorrow, Tuesday 21st at 1.55 at Webex Cisco. The link and the password that you would need um, to join this discussion session is available online via the school's, the school's platform and the Blogspot. So I'm just going to remind you the Blogspot in case you don't have it yet. which is mesalamonatcan.blogspot.com You know there is a menu on the right side and you just look for your English level and that's it. My email miss.salamonatcan at gmail.com so that's it for today. I hope you stay home. I hope you stay self healthy. And I will see you tomorrow at our discussion session. Goodbye.